Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching. This is me Mr. P and this is another episode in a Proxmox Home Server series. In this video I will try to do my best and explain to you Tailscale Serve and Tailscale Funnel. Tailscale Serve is a service created by Tailscale that will allow you to share content or local servers from that Tailscale node to your Tailnet. And Tailscale Funnel is addition, addition to the Tailscale Serve that will not only share via inside the Tailnet, but it, but it will open to entire internet. Please note that Tailscale Funnel is available for free, premium enterprise plans. And Tailscale Funnel is currently in beta, so some things, well, it does work for me. I've been using Tailscale Funnel and Serve for about almost a month now, but just sometimes it is a bit of flaky, especially the tail skill funnel. So hopefully everything will work correctly for this video and you will, you will understand and you'll learn what the tail skill serve and tail skill funnel is. Tail skill serve will serve the content or servers to your tail net. So what is the tail net? If you log into your tail scale dashboard and click on DNS, you will find your tail net domain. In my case, it's a raptor-banjo.ts.net. So this is my tailnet. And the machines that currently exist in that tailnet are Linux and Tailscale. And Linux and Tailscale is these two devices, these two virtual machines here. So one of them is LXC container that runs Tailscale. And another one is virtual machine that is running Pop! OS, Linux OS. And they are both... Um, linked to the same tailnet. So Tailscale Serve would allow me to share content from, let's say, Tailscale machine to Linux machine and vice versa. If I have here, let's say, if I had 10, 15, 20, 90 devices, and I have a file that I wanna share from one machine to another, yes, I can set up the FTP or SMB or any other way, or I can just enable Tailscale Serve that will create a URL that I can open um, into another machine or wget uh, the content using that URL and it will share the content between all my Tailscale nodes. So Tailscale Serve will share from one machine to another and Tailscale Funnel will share not only between two machines within my Tailnet, but anybody who knows the URL will be able to access the files. So let's start setting this up. I will start with the tail scale serve. So if I'm gonna click on a tail scale LXC container and navigate to home and Mr. P folder, inside here I have a folder called share dash folder. Navigate in this folder and the content of this folder is as follows. I have two files, well actually I have three files, but two of them are small, they're just TXT files, 18 and 35 kilobytes respectively. And I have Linux ISO file, which is two gigs. Linux ISO is basically my pop OS ISO file. So right now I want the Linux virtual machine access these files from my LXC container. I just need to like say download them or use them in any way and just how to get these files from my tail scale LXC container to my Linux YT. So step one, if I click on my Linux, on my tail scale dashboard, I can see both nodes are active. And they are indeed belongs to belong to the same tailnet. So inside a tail scale LXC container, if I type, you need to type sudo if you're not logged in as a super user root. I am logged in as root, so sudo is not required. But I'm just gonna type anyway, as a, it's a good habit to type it. So sudo tail scale serve status. Currently, you can see no serve config, so that means tail scale serve is not active. So I'll bring the same command back, it'll delete the status. And now I'm gonna type HTTP, let's say semicolon 1234, then slash, slash is what, what subfolder or subdomain I wanna use. So if I'm gonna click on a tail scale, it's gonna be raptor-banjo.ts.net slash whatever, if I chose to. I'm gonna just leave as a main. And now I'm gonna just type a location of the folder that I want to share. In my case is home, Mr. P, shared folder, enter. No errors, that's good. If you're doing this for very first time, there is a chance that the link will show up, which you need to click and activate. 
the link will bring you to a page that looks something like this. As you can see, this is activation screen for using funnel. Something like this will show up if you're doing the tail scale serve for the very first time, especially when you're using HTTPS instead of HTTP. So right now, serve is running. If I'll bring the command, which is tail scale serve status and enter, as you can see, it gives me a list. Uh, let me do this way. It gives me two URLs. I'm going to use this URL to access this. As you can see, it says tail net only, or I can use full tail scale dash yt. So node name dot tail net address semicolon and a port I opened. So let's go back in here. Inside pop OS, I'm going to open the browser. Let's wait for the browser to show up. And if I type tail scale, all this address, delete at the end and put one, two, three, four and enter. Here you go. This is my free files here that is shared. Let's go back inside tail scale and you can see one, two, three, just to make sure that it's definitely the same one. I can write touch, let's say touch and let's put TS. So I created a four file, which is just TS. If I go back to my Linux, Linux virtual machine, Popeye's virtual machine, refresh, the file showed up. So right now, anybody within my tails tail net can have can access these files using this URL so they can go and click for example what's the config subscribe and what's under important and don't forget to click like I hope you will do that and Linux ISO is like I said is pop OS installation drive installation uh, media as you can see is right now downloading that's it so everybody within my tail net will be able to access this all this screen that you're seeing here is the Chrome browser running on my laptop that I'm using right now to inst uh, demonstrate all this. So if I do the same here and press enter, uh, tail scale dash yt, enter, and it's gonna try to load because this laptop that I'm using to record this video is not a part of the tail net. So it doesn't matter how long I'm gonna wait, it's not bay, it won't open this page because my laptop that I'm using is not part of the tail net. So tail scale serve only serves content within your tails tail net. So I need to right now open this to uh, entire internet, be able to download this. A couple of things, please note uh, that the tail, the, the funnel will limit the, limit the bandwidth. So it's not like you can open the port and you and everybody who connects will be able to use at full speed. It's going to be limited. Traffic over funnel is subject to bandwidth limit. And the ports that you can specify to expose the funnel are currently available are 443, 8443 and port 10,000. And funnel needs to be set up via tail scale serve HTTPS port, not HTTP. It needs to be HTTPS, otherwise it's not going to work. So let's go back here. This, this it still works because this uh, Pop OS virtual machine is a part of the tail net. As you can see, this one, it just keeps loading and loading and it's just going to keep loading and nothing's going to happen. So let's go back to my tail scale dash yt container where I have the tail scale, tail scale serve running. As you can see here, tail net only. I'm just going to delete status and type reset. Tail scale serve reset will close the connection. So right now this page, if I refresh, it will not work anymore. So now let's, set, let's set, create the tail scale serve using HTTPS and one of the ports that is allowed in tail scale funnel and then activate the funnel. For this demo, I'm still going to use the same folder, but like I said, you can use not only the folder, but you can use a service as well. So, for example, if you have a pie hole running inside here or file browser, Docker container, anything, you will be able to share the service as well. So let's right now set up the tail scale serve again. So tail scale serve, serve, not server, serve, HTTPS. And then if you leave like that, it will default to 443, but I'm just going to go and force it anyway to use 443 port. Then slash, let's say slash files. And then what location I want to share. So it's going to be home, Mr. P, shared folder, enter. If I type tail scale serve status and enter, right now it's sharing using this link, 
So tail scale serve status. So tail scale dash yt. And it says tail net only. So if I refresh this link like that, uh, it should open up any second now. Is it Panjo 443? No, don't want to do that. Let's force it. HTTPS tail scale dash yt. No. So it's, um, this is where the buggy stuff going to start happening. So let's do a tail scale, tail scale, come on, tail scale serve reset. And let's re reset again. So HTTPS, oh, it's files. That's what I missed. I forgot to enter files. So where is that URL? Slash files. Here we go. So right now it's accessing by HTTPS. I do get the padlock. Everything is verified and I do have access to this files. I forgot to put the files uh, end bit to um, to tell that this is the URL slash files to access path and this is a location. So tailnet only working. Now if I type tail scale funnel, specify the port that I used, which is going to be 443 and then type on enter. And right now if you're going to run this for the very first time, you should see um, the screen or link that will take you to screen something like this, where you enable the funnel. And the funnel and serve is not enabled by default. You will have to enable during the first initial run. Let's go back here inside my tail scale dash yt Alexi container and find my command tail scale serve status, enter. And now you can see there's more information showing up that was before. Before it was just a link and it says tail, scale, tail net only, but now it says funnel on. This is URL that funnel is on, and this is the links that they can access. So it's can, they can go and access using this URL and this end bit to access the files. So right now, if I'm going to go back here into my pop OS VM and refresh that, I still have access to these files. But right now inside my Chrome browser on the laptop that has is not the part of tailnet. If I type HTTPS tail scale, let's delete, put dash YT files at the end. I do have access to these files because they have been tunnel, they've been funneled using tail scale funnel to entire internet. So anybody who has access or know, knows that link, they can punch that link in the browser, on the phone, on any device that has internet connection and a browser, and they will be able to access these files. They can even go and let's say, if I go and select this and copy the link, I can go inside the SS, um, SSH um, terminal and then wget and paste that link. So if I'm going to go and let's say paste that link like that, they will be able to download this link, which will ask them politely to <laughs> To subscribe to my channel. So this is how tail scale funnel and tail scale serve works. Once you've done everything and you want to close the connection, you type tail scale funnel, specify the port 443 off, enter. So right now funnel is off, but tail scale serve is still active. So now on the inside the Chrome browser on the device that is not part of the tail net for refresh. It keeps spinning and spinning and spinning and eventually I'll get the timeout that the link doesn't exist or ha I have no access rights or oh, here we go. Site cannot be reached because tail scale funnel is off. And if I type tail scale sta serve status, the actual link is still active, but it is only within Tailnet. So inside pop OS, if I refresh this, Link still works and our files can still be accessed with no problems. So tail scale funnel specify the port and type off is to turn off access from entire internet. Or if I type tail scale serve reset, it will completely close this um, connection. And right now I can, even my devices within my tail tailnet won't be able to access the files. So, so right now let me try again tail scale enter and it was files and that's it unable to connect doesn't matter how I try that's it tail scale serve is disconnected and now as you can see no serve config found
So the Tailscale serve will share the file, folder, or any content within your Tailnet, and Tailscale funnel will expose that content to entire internet. If you want to send a big file to someone, or let's say someone, like I said, you can share the services. So for example, you can give a quick access to one of your Docker containers to someone who just, uh, let's say, wants to upload something. Like for example, I have a Docker container, which is File Browser. I've already done a video about File Browser. This is very simplified Google Drive alternative kind of thing. So let's say if you want to give this uh, someone access to this device, to this thing, to this Docker container via internet without opening ports or using Cloudflare Tunnel or having a subdomain or anything like that. So for example, what you would type then is tailscale serve HTTPS semicolon 443 file browser, for example, and then specify the URL. Your URL that you need to specify using a Tailscale serve needs to be your local host. I can't use this Alexi container to expose stuff on this virtual machine. It needs to be running inside, yes, this, inside the same node. So for example, then I can type HTTP, local host, semicolon 4433, for example, and that's it. If I press enter, Tailscale serve status. So now I have my local host uh, service running uh, at port 443 exposed to a tailnet via 443. Instead of 4433, it's going to be 443. And then if I would like to go further, I can type 443 on. And basically that's how I would expose the Docker, the container file browser from my node that was running that Docker container to entire internet. Once I've done that, or my friend uploaded a file or downloaded what he needs, I off, I put the off to a to, uh, to the tail scale funnel, and then reset, and that's it. All the access to the service is blocked. I hope this video is useful for you. I've been using tail scale serve and tail scale funnel for about a month now, where I need to send a big files or allow someone to upload files to my file browser, Docker container, or other things. And it's been working not always, not 100%. Like I said, Tailscale Funnel is in beta. So there is sometimes a little hiccups here or there. But overall, I'm very happy with the service, with the Tailscale Serve and Tailscale Funnel. And it's just a very simple and easy um, setup where you need, you need to send a file or folder or just to expose a service to someone a quick and you don't want to use any file transfer third-party services to move a two, three, four gigabytes of data. I hope this video is useful for you and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.